to finish senior day and last home game in Mizzou Softball Stadium than a, than a sweep of A&M. Um, really, really unbelievably proud of our seniors. You know, they've been amazing representatives of this program. Um, you know, they've obviously had the accolades and have contributed a great deal, but more than that, they're just such great people. Um, and I've been really honored to be able to coach them. What's the emotion like when you see those faces walking down, they're coming it's, at you for the hug? It's What's really the tough. I mean, it's tough. I mean, I didn't recruit them other than work. But they're, they're my girls. Um, I've been with them for four years. Um, they've gone through a lot of adversity, and they're so proud and completely loyal and dedicated to Mizzou, and I would do absolutely anything for them. If you could specify what, what the mark of this senior class is. They all had a hard time putting it into words, but what, what do you think the mark of the senior class is? I mean, they've set, they've set a new bar. They absolutely have set a bar, and they've been great mentors to the younger players. But I think it's, I mean, you can see the, the way the fans stayed to watch the presentation and how they feel about all of these seniors and they've left an impact on everybody who's been in touch with this program. So you, you, know, you, said you didn't recruit these players but in a way you had to choose to come back or they could have chosen to go anywhere else but what does it mean to you that they did come back? It, that's the loyalty. Um, you know I'm so loyal to them and indebted to them because they're so committed to this program and they've been committed to this coaching staff um, because I had to re-recruit them because it wasn't from the beginning. So it was them buying into the program and buying into the philosophy and, and really what own it means. Um, they live that every single day. They, they are my go-to. They have such a great pulse. They know the standards of, of us as coaches and standards of the program and they uphold them all the time. And the way that they mentor the younger players and hold them accountable really will, that will be passed on from years and years. So the impact that the seniors have impact our freshmen so when our freshmen are seniors, it's going to impact those freshmen. So that's the legacy that they've left. When you look at a girl like Alexis Burks, what a moment for her today. You know, what was that like and kind of watching that go down? That literally was the highlight of the day. I mean, you, you want it so bad for those role players. And she's been such a contributing member. And, you know, people don't don't recognize players like that enough. You know, they look at the stats and they look at the batting averages and the shut, shutouts. But... Alexis Burks is in the bullpen every single day and catches the pitchers with that without being asked. And for her to get an at bat and to get, and to have a, such a quality at bat, I mean, you can see. I mean, how many people off the bench get a standing ovation like she did today? How how would you describe what Kim Word I guess means to you in this program? Uh, you know, it's it's one of those. It's it's a little bit different because again, I recruited her out of high school, and so many people told me she couldn't play at this level. And I knew deep down she could. And so I wanted it so much more for her to prove all the people who were saying no, that she can. And for her to break the records and to be one of the best hitters in the SEC just shows you her commitment and dedication and how hard she's worked to get herself to that level and to be able to do it in two and a half years. I mean, that's remarkable for her to break some of those records, not being here a freshman year, having 2020 cut short in the amount of time that she's done it. You've got young guns across the team, like Jenna Laird and Kara Daly, who have been able to develop under these great seniors. And so what do you think their impact to the, like the kids under them are? It's, it's the same with the, the legacy. Like They're going to talk tell stories about the senior class long through their career, and they're going to remember exactly the mentoring. So then Jenna and Kara Daly and Alex Honnold can mentor our younger players. And that's, that's what true mentoring and, and what a lead, leaving a legacy really means. It's that you continue to pass it on and tradition never graduates. So everything that they've learned from this senior class is going to be continue to be passed down year after year, which then you just continue to build on. I know the seniors obviously stand up, but Alex Honnold had a pretty solid weekend. I mean, four for four on Friday, throwing through today. What did you see out of her this series? She stayed within herself. Like, she was so composed in every situation. She didn't try to do too much. Um, she is probably one of the most relaxed players I have ever coached. Like, doesn't show any emotion. You can see in the in the pregame video that they show every time Alex comes up, the team gets all hyped because that's just how Alex's personality is. Um, and she just plays with such a great, quiet confidence. You know, I didn't get to talk to you on Friday, but what did that mean to see Hattie have the, had the weekend at the plate oh, that she had? She's had one of the roughest years that I've ever known an athlete to have and so much that she's had to overcome. And, you know, obviously she helped the team win, but it meant so much to see someone that's gone through so much adversity succeed, you know, and a great to do in front of her home crowd. So what's on the line against Alabama? Obviously with six straight SEC wins, do you, 
do you think this series can really propel you towards hosting? I haven't looked at how anybody else is doing right now. Um, you know, we're really just taking care of ourselves. And to be honest, when I get the report from the SEC, I don't even open it because I just want to worry about Mizzou softball and that we take care of what we're doing and we just have to focus on Friday's game and preparing all week long for Alabama and then whatever happens Friday we prepare for Saturday and you know we don't we don't want to scoreboard watch because then you get caught up in stuff that you have no control over and we can, can just control what we can do. Overall today I mean we talked a lot about the home run throughout the year and that you get 11 runs uh, through a lot of walks and just singles and stuff like that. Yeah. Can you talk about that? How many do we have? Nine. Whoa. Nine. And that, that's hard to do because hitters want to hit. And some of those at bats are, are such quality at bats in being very selective with the pitching, understanding what's happening on the mound, realizing that they're waiting for their pitch, that they don't have to hit to score a run. I mean, that, that takes a lot of discipline, especially on a senior day where people sometimes try, try to do too much and try to do more because of what the day means and they just stay so composed and, and you know getting that many walks and quality of bats and then being able to capitalize when you have those runners in scoring position is huge. What did you think about the pitching today? I thought they looked fatigued you know that's what I just said them in the dugout I thought their their legs looked tired um, Jordan I thought looked phenomenal in the bullpen so I'll, I'll have to talk to her a little bit on what she felt out there and I thought A&M made great adjustments I thought they had a great game plan going in um, so I'll give them a lot of credit, but I just thought our legs look a little sluggish and weren't as sharp. So we'll have to do a little bit more recovery and, and get them their bodies a little bit more um, ready to play on Friday.